Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when Sea of Thieves game is missing. So if you have installed the game, the game should be in library. So if Sea of Thieves game is missing from your library on Xbox app and even on Microsoft Store, if you don't see the game, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now, the first step is to run gaming service repair tool. So you can open Xbox app and then on the top left here, you can see a profile. I can click on it. Now click on support and then click on gaming service repair tool and click on start repairing and then click on yes to allow and let the process complete. Now, once this is done, you can close it. Now you can close Xbox app and then open Xbox app once again. Still, you're facing the problem. You can do the same thing from website. In Google, you can type in gaming service repair tool and then click on gaming services repair tool for PC. And then on, on this Microsoft website, it will take you to Microsoft website. Then scroll down, click on downloadable version and then click on download the gaming service repair tool for PC. And then once the download is complete, run this exe file. Click on yes to allow and let the process complete. Now this may take a couple of seconds or maybe a few minutes. Now once you see this completed successfully, now you can open Xbox app once again and then you can go to my library and then check. Still you don't see the game, then the next step is to run this command. This command is provided in the video description. Copy this command and then type in PowerShell in Windows search box and then make a right click on Windows PowerShell and then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you open Windows PowerShell as an administrator. Click on yes to allow and then paste the command over here. Hit the enter key and let the process complete. Now once this is done, now restart your computer. Restart is a must after this. Restart your computer and after the system restart, you can open Xbox app and then go to library and then check. Still, your games are not back in that case. The next step is to log in with same account on Microsoft Store and with same account on Xbox app. So open Microsoft Store and Xbox app on your computer. And then on the top right here, you can see your profile icon, click on it, then click on sign out and then click on sign. In. Select the right account, which has the game pass and then click on continue. It will be asking for your pin or password. So enter the pin or password. Now, once you're logged in, now you can go to Xbox app and then on the top left, click on the profile icon. Now click on sign out. And then click on sign in again, sign in. Now you have to select the same account which you have selected in Microsoft Store. So select the right account which has the Game Pass and it has to be same account which you have used in Microsoft Store. Now once you are logged in, now you can go to it. You can go to my library and then check the game. It should be back. Still the games are not back. Then the next step is to search for the installed games in Microsoft Store and then try launching from store. So you can open store and then go to library. Now, if you find the game in the in the list, you, you can launch the game from here. But still, you don't see the games in my library. Then please follow the rest of the steps shown in this video. Now, the first step is to repair or reset Xbox app. So Type in Xbox app in Windows search box, make a right click on Xbox app and then click on app settings or you can simply open Windows 11 or Windows 10 settings and then go to apps, go to install apps in Windows 11. In Windows 10, you will see apps and features. So go to apps and features or install apps in Windows 11. Over here, find Xbox app in the list. In the search box, you can type in Xbox app. Now over here, you can see Xbox app in Windows 10. Simply click on Xbox app and then you will see advanced option in Windows 11. Click on these three dots and go to advanced option. Now scroll down over here. You can see the repair option. Click on repair. 
Now, once the repair is done, you can try to open Xbox app. Still, you're facing the problem, then click on reset, reset. And once the reset is done, you can try to open Xbox app. But still, you're facing the problem, the next step is to uninstall and reinstall Xbox app. Not store, but Xbox app. So, again, go to Windows settings, then go to apps, install apps or apps and features and find Xbox app in the list. Now, in Windows 11, click on these three dots. In Windows 10, simply click on it and then you will see uninstall option. Click on uninstall, uninstall. Now, once this is uninstalled, now you can reinstall the Xbox app from Microsoft Store. So open Microsoft Store on your computer and in the search box type in Xbox app. And then you can install the Xbox app once again. Click on yes to allow and let the download complete. Once done, you can try to open Xbox app. Still you're facing the problem in that case, you can update Xbox app from store library. Now, open Microsoft Store on your computer. Now, once you open Microsoft Store, on the bottom left over here, you can see library options. So click on library. And over here, you will see an option which says get updates. So, or you can scroll down and find Xbox app. If you find Xbox app, if you see the update option, click on update. So click on get updates over here. Once it is updated, once all the apps are updated, you can launch Xbox app. Still you're facing the problem, then uninstall Xbox app and install it from Xbox website. So again, you can uninstall it. Now after you uninstall it, go to Xbox app website. So you can go to Google and in Google you can type in Xbox app and go to Xbox website. Scroll down. Over here you can see the option which says download the app. So click on download the app and run this exe file and you will be able to install Xbox app and then try to launch. But still you are facing the problem then make sure date, time, time zone and reason is correct on your Windows computer. So on the bottom right over here, you can see the date and time. Make a right click on date and time, then click on adjust date and time. Now make sure set time automatically is turned on over here. So make it this is on. Also make sure set time zone automatically is also on. Once both are on, you have to click on sync now. Make sure that you click on sync now. If you if it is not synced, you can click on sync now multiple times. And then once this is synced, now go to language and region and make sure the right country is selected over here. Now, the next step is to clear store cache using WS reset command. So type in WS reset in Windows search box and then click on WS reset. This will open up this black screen and then it will reopen Microsoft Store. Now you can try to open Xbox app. Now, next step is to update Windows 10 or 11. So open Windows settings, go to update and security or Windows update and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed over here, now, restart your computer and then open Xbox app. Next step is to install Xbox Identity Provider and Gaming Services. Now for this, first of all, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Now over here you can see Xbox Identity Provider and click on Get Installed app and then it will prompt you to open Microsoft Store. So open Microsoft Store and then if Xbox Identity Provider is not installed, you will see Install button over here. In my case, this is already installed, so there is no button. But in your case, if this is not installed, you will see Install button or Get button. If you don't see, then follow the next step. That is to uninstall and reinstall gaming services. For this, copy this command. This command is provided in the video description. 
type in power cell in windows search box and then make a right click on windows power cell and then click on run as administrator make sure that you are opening windows power cell as an administrator click on yes to allow now paste the command over here hit the end key this will uninstall gaming services from your computer now once this is uninstalled on the same window copy the second command paste it over here on the same window hit the enter key this will open microsoft store on your computer and it will give you an install option to install gaming services click on install click on yes to allow and let the download complete once the gaming services is installed you can try to open xbox app next step is to start all these services so type in services in windows search box and then click on services now find ip helper in the list and then make a double click on ip helper set it to automatic click on apply click on start if if highlighted then click on okay now find xbox services at the end here you can see all these four xbox services make a double click on each one of them set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on okay do the same thing over here set it to automatic and then click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on okay again set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on okay again automatic apply start and then click on okay now find windows update make a double click on windows update set it to automatic apply click on start if highlighted then click on okay now find gaming services over here you can see gaming services make sure gaming services are running if not running if gaming services are not running make a right click then stop it again make a right click and then stop it and then again restart the service make a right click then click on start make a right click and then click on start and then find microsoft store install service and then make a double click set it to automatic click on apply click on okay click on start if highlighted then click on okay now once you start all these services still you are facing the problem then run this powershell command this command is provided in the video description so type in powershell in windows search box and then again make a right click on windows powershell make sure that you you open pop windows powershell as an administrator click on yes to allow and then copy this command and then all the commands are provided in the video description paste it over here hit the enter now this process will take some time and during this process you will see some errors in red color so when this is happening you might see some errors over here in red color so if you see any kind of error in red color just ignore it and let the process complete now once the process is complete you will see this screen full of red colors so you can close this and then restart your computer and then try to open xbox app so you will see errors like this in red color but here you can see process it is all still running so once ignore these error messages once this is complete then you can restart your computer and then open xbox app next step is to run inet cpl.cpl command so type in inet cpl.cpl in windows search box and then click on inet cpl.cpl and then go to the advanced tab now scroll down at the end over here you can see use tls 1.0 use tls 1.1 use tls 1.2 use tls 1.1.3 so make sure all these 1.1 1.2 1.2 1.3 all these all these four boxes are checked and then click on apply click on okay restart your computer and then check now the if nothing is working you can update windows to the latest version using media creation tool so if nothing is working you can update your windows 10 or 11 using media creation tool so if you have windows 10 copy this link if you have windows 11 copy this link windows 10 users go to this website here you can see media creation tool click on download tool now and then run this exe file then you will see the screen click on accept by default upgrade this pc now would be selected click on next it will start downloading windows 10 along with the latest update now this process will take some time now once the download is complete before the installation you will see this screen which says ready to install 
and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so click on install and once the installation is complete log into your computer now for windows 11 users go to this website here also you will find media creation tool click on download now and then run this exe file click on yes to allow now this will load windows 11 media creation tool now click on accept by default windows 11 would be selected click on next select iso file then click on next you can save the location you can set the location as desktop and then click on save over here now once the download is complete click on finish and then go to desktop find windows iso file make a double click on windows iso file then run the setup file make a double click on setup file click on yes to allow this will load windows 11 now and here you can see install windows 11 click on next it will check for update then click on accept again it will check for update now before the installation you will see the screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer click on install after the installation log into your computer so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get sea of thieves back to your game library so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel